early to start planning your trips for 2023? Certainly not! Remember that January is one of the most affordable months of the year to book flights, so doing so early will maximize your savings and give you something to look forward to. Before we delve in, drop a comment telling us what your dream destination would be if money weren't an issue. With the economy being the way it is, we have to pick a few places to start from, so here's our guide to the top 10 places to visit in 2023. Number 10. Eastern France The eastern region of the country isn't really considered when people think of France. Instead, they tend to focus on Paris, the Riviera, the beaches and vineyards in the southwest, the mountains, and perhaps even the Eiffel Tower. They're missing out on a lot, though. The area is characterized by elegance and refinement. You'll find yourself in a culturally hybrid region because of the proximity of Germany or Luxembourg and Switzerland, as well as the various international borders. Strasbourg has lovely wood-framed homes, canal walkways, and a sizable but oddly off-centered cathedral. Besançon is a compact collection of robust townhouses from the 18th century clustered close together on a Dubes river bend. With its Art Nouveau architecture, boulevards, and palaces, Nancy is almost like a miniature version of Palace. Another enjoyable diversion is the Vogue de Nord Regional Nature Park whose wetlands and forests are dotted with ruinous medieval settlements. Overall, it's a wonderful area that doesn't receive nearly enough attention. Perhaps 2023 will be the year that changes that. Number 9. Nepal's Kathmandu Next on our list is the breathtakingly beautiful country of Nepal, which is regarded as having some of the world's top hiking and mountaineering. The Himalayas dominate and define the mountainous nation, which is home to many of the highest peaks on Earth. You immediately recognize the country as the one and only home of Mount Everest when you hear the Himalayas. Nepal is known for its hiking and adventure, but it also boasts a rich cultural history. The name City of Temples refers to Kathmandu, the capital of Nepal, which is a must-see for obvious reasons. The most well-known of the country's numerous historic temples, monasteries, shrines, and palaces is Lumbini's Maya Devi Temple. The vibrant market lanes of Tamil and the famed Hindu shrine Pashupatinath are two other intriguing places to explore. Number 8. Trinidad and Tobago Off the coast of Venezuela, on two islands, Trinidad is a larger nation that takes great satisfaction in its environmental initiatives. In Trinidad and Tobago, there are so many lovely golden beaches. There are Mayora Beach, Pigeon Point Beach, Chagaramas Beach, and other incredible beaches to mention a few. Maracas Beach, a beach that looks like it belongs in a fairy tale, is situated on the edge of Maracas Bay. You'll notice that mountains surround the area. Las Cuevas Beach is another stunning location where you can take in the warm water, golden sand, and natural surroundings. You shouldn't miss the Trinidad and Tobago Carnival. People in Trinidad and Tobago dress colorfully and dance in the streets during the carnival. Many tourists from around the world come to Trinidad and Tobago just to take in the cultural festival, the vibrant clothing and streets, and the mouth-watering cuisine. Be sure to capture a lot of photos from the carnival. It might be one of the best experiences of your life. Number 7. Kosovo The newest country in Europe is flourishing as a travel destination. It has been 15 years since it unilaterally proclaimed its independence from Serbia, so perhaps now is the perfect moment to travel to this lovely region of the Balkans. Pristina, the country's capital, isn't the most beautiful city in the world, but its vibrant atmosphere and convenient location make it the perfect place to meet the locals, learn about the complex history of the city and the surrounding area from a variety of respectable museums, and use it as a base for further exploring the country. For those who enjoy the great outdoors, you'd love it here. The Bieszket Nemuna National Park is located among the spectacular and aptly titled Accursed Mountains in the West of the Nation. Keep an open mind while visiting Kosovo. There is nothing to fear in this wonderful nation with its welcoming citizens. Number 6. The Pacific Northwest, U.S. The Pacific Northwest, as it's known, is well worth some of your time, even though it lacks the big city life of New York City on the East Coast and the warmth and glitz of California to the South. The Pacific Northwest is renowned for its breathtaking natural beauty, which includes numerous hills, valleys, lakes, rivers, and majestic snow-capped mountains. Outdoor enthusiasts will find this to be a veritable wonderland, but its diverse region has much more to offer. Though its reputation for rainy weather is somewhat justified, the cities and the scenery more than make up for it. This beautiful region of the world compromises Oregon, Washington, and the southernmost portion of British Columbia and Canada. The largest city in Oregon, Portland, is vibrant and artistic. It's not too big, but big enough to be enjoyable. Access to other scenic locales like the Columbia River and the Pacific Coast's beaches is also straightforward. 
three hours north in Seattle, are several well-known attractions like Pike Place and the Space Needle, as well as some of the best microbreweries in the nation. Number 5. Morelia, Mexico Morelia is a magnificent city with grand structures, palaces, churches, and other illustrative examples of Mexican colonial architecture. Also, it unites all of Milwaukee's diversity and excellence, including gastronomy through dishes with pre-Hispanic roots. Morelia is much less touristy than other colonial Mexican cities and towns like San Miguel de Allende. However, you'll discover that Morelia offers a wide variety of fascinating activities, especially in the city's historic center. The city has a soft, almost dreamlike appearance because of the more than 200 old structures constructed from the air's locally acquired light pinkish stone. You should also reward yourself with a tasty treat. Mexico's candy center is Morelia, so be sure to visit for tastings of some of the city's most well-known confections and manufacturing demos before visiting the Mercado de Dulces y Artesanías, a market entirely devoted to it. Indulging in foreign trees is always a good idea. Number 4. Senegal the name Senegal literally means land of Taranga, and Taranga is a word from the Wolof language that roughly translates to hospitality, but it also captures the spirit of the nation. Senegal has a variety of attractions, such as spectacular beaches, world heritage sites, original art, wildlife, and heavenly music, among other reasons why you should visit. This also includes Senegal giving a sense of belonging. There are towns, tropical savannas, beaches backed by wood fishing villages, rolling, sandy deserts in the north, and mangrove swamps. If you're an EU or UK citizen, you can also cross the border into Gambia, a small territory along its name-bearing river that is a popular site for river trips, observing native species, Two wonderful African nations at one go include Senegal on your bucket list. Number 3. Prince Edward Island, Canada Prince Edward Island, Canada's smallest province, is sometimes overlooked because of the country's wide open plains and breathtaking mountains, which are a major lure for adventurers from across the world. But here, you may find almost all of the country's features including cliffs, beaches, forests, cities, villages, farmland, and oddly enough, 27 golf courses. The island is indeed quite little, so you're never too far from a portion of it. You're never too far from some level of comfort or access to food and drink because the island is quite small. Many of the little towns will have inviting seaside eateries, and Charlottetown, the provincial capital, is home to many gastropubs and bistros. This might be a good idea to start if you want to delve a little deeper into Canada. A stunning location with winding streets, endless coastlines, and unique experiences around every turn, Prince Edward Island's natural beauty is distinct from that of other parts of Canada and is definitely worth visiting. Number 2. Busan, South Korea The second largest city in South Korea is a bewildering maze of business, student life, noises, and odors, but it also offers mountains, beaches, woods, and temples. Busan residents and adventurers adore the contrast between their city and Seoul, enthusiastically accepting the controlled chaos while eagerly praising it to visitors. You'll quickly see why residents take pride in the air with its year-round festivals, delicious cuisine, and diverse nightlife that ranges from classical music to dive pubs. Many tourists travel to the area not only to go hiking, but also to see the Buddhist temples tucked away in the mountains. The Pyomyosa Temple, which was built in six 678 AD is one of the region's busiest temples and is constantly crowded with pilgrims and visitors. With its exotic beaches, delicious local seafood, and stunning tourist attractions, Busan is unquestionably one of South Korea's most popular tourist destinations and worth a visit. Number 1. The Uruguayan Coast Although Uruguay's coastline only stretches for around 300 miles, it is home to some of the nicest beaches in South America in both regions facing the Atlantic Ocean and the Rio de la Plata, the river plate. Since the majority of Uruguayans reside close to the coast, beach culture is ingrained in the nation, so be sure to pack a lot of beachwear. Most of the seafront communities have great transport connections among them, so it becomes extremely simple to simply hop from beach to beach. If beaches are not your cup of tea, go on to Punta del Diablo, a quaint seasonal community with houses owned by fishermen, a tiny school, and several bohemian stores offering goods from the area. With Argentina and Brazil on either side of you, you could even add a few more nations to your itinerary. You might as well keep traveling. What's the top destination on your bucket list for 2023? Tell us in the comments.